As part of Vision 2030, access to modern and reliable electricity is critical to enhancing the prospects for Kenya's growth, regional competitiveness and shared prosperity. The Kenyan government is collaborating with like-minded partners to bridge the gap between demand and affordable supply. As a result of informal settlements, residents' inability to afford actual connection fees, cartels have mastered the art of illegal and unsafe electricity connections. These have repeatedly caused major disasters, from electrocutions to fire outbreaks. Furthermore, Kenya Power has continued to incur major commercial losses within these informal settlements. The World Bank recently approved a total of $457.5 million for the Kenya Electricity Modernization Project. Innovation in the new project is reflected in the suitability of its various elements including technical and financial support for the government's electrification last mile program. The initiative seeks financing for new connections and improved service quality and credit enhancement for Kenya Power. The project was mooted with the aim of providing safe, legal and affordable power connection to people living in informal settlements and other low-income regions. Kenya Power, with the support of World Bank, has invested 2.1 billion shillings to provide electricity connection in a slum electrification project. The partnership under the World Bank's Global Partnership Output-Based Aid, Jipopa, is set to connect Kenyans in informal settlements and low-income areas to electricity at a subsidized fee. Therefore, sought the extension of the project with the World Bank. And the World Bank agreed to give us 6.3 billion shillings. Kenyans living in informal settlements and low income areas in various parts of the country are expected to benefit from access to electricity, while existing consumers will enjoy better quality of services.
The slum electrification project that began in May 2015 is targeting power connections in informal settlements across Kenya with an aim of supplying safe, legal and affordable electricity to residents through installing prepaid meters. So we will go to Kibera and install and build infrastructure. You know, just get there, put our contractors there and build the network. Totally ignoring that there was a network there. However informal it was, it was their network. And you needed them to own anything else other than what they have. So we had to, to, to understand the sociology of the society to be able to work with them. The project has made use of permanent concrete poles instead of wooden ones, whose lifespan is about 20 years. Special insulated wires have been imported for the project, providing more safety. What we've done is that we have spoken to leadership of Kibera, starting from uh, the MB, all the way to the local uh, leadership villages, and they, we have spoken to them about our project. And what we've done is that uh, we have recruited people to build infrastructure, display infrastructure from there. Shirikiano wetu na Kenya Power imekuwa kwamba wametupa wana, mafunzo e, na pia wametupa ajira ya kwamba hizi hela tunapata kiasi zinatusaidia ili kuweza kuchukulikia familia zetu. The transformers used in the project are smaller than regular ones and have been placed above the electric wires to prevent vandalism. Each is to serve between 10 to 30 households. The large number of transformers being installed are expected to handle future increase in demand for electricity. So far the project has been implemented in Nairobi, Kisi, Kisumu, Eldoret, Nakuru, Nyahururu and Gatundu. Other earmarked areas include Mombasa, Busia, Kakamega, Nyeri, Naivasha, Malindi, Meru, Garissa, Voi, Nanyuki, Lorwa, Thika and Kitale. So far there has been tremendous achievements towards connecting informal settlements countrywide, significantly transforming the lives of thousands, a scenario that was once beyond the imagination of many.
Kwa saa hizi tunasikia mzuri sana. Kwa tena bei ni cheap because unalipa vile unataka, unaweza kutumia chochote ile unaona kama kama kupiga pass na ile ya mwanzo ungepiga pass. Ile tulikuwa tukitumia sima watu 30 mita moja. Na pesa yenye ilikuwa ikikuja ilikuwa ikikuja pesa nyingi tunagawana saa zingine utaambia ulipe 1000 ama uambie 1200. Lakini hii mradi yenye ilitokea Kenya Power alileta mradi ya token. Sasa tukaekea kila mtu token yake. Sasa hii tunalipa bei nafu. Kenya Power imeingia kwa nyumba yangu imepata mafanikio kubwa sababu kama ni TV naona kama ni chaji kuchaji eh, simu napata kama mtu ameshupana tunangasha na tunapenda nini sasa wewe kama kitu mtu yuko kiti yake yuko mbaya ni ngusi wewe naasha kuwa na furaha furaha ni mangasa sasa mimi na yuko kwa ai Beyond lighting up of households, there has been a mushrooming of various micro-businesses that have significantly empowered the residents. In sprawling Kibera area, previously jobless youth have now ventured into small businesses to uplift their living standards. Sasa hii mambo ya kinyapawa umenisaidia sana. Nauza. Soda ni baridi kila kitu iko sawa sambamba. Na hii stima imenisaidia sana. Naona kama maisha yangu imebadilika sana. Nimepata mafanikio tangu stima ikuje. Jo sasa moto haipotei sana kama kuna mteja amenipa kazi ninafanya ninaimaliza. However, despite the successes, implementation of the project has had its fair share of challenges, from illegal connections by cartels to vandalism of copper cables, not to mention the poor terrain presented within some of the informal settlements are just a few of the hindrances experienced. Open offices in Kibera, they will be the teams that will be maintaining the entire Kibera network because they are the owners and they look after that infrastructure from any fundal. We don't require watchmen to look after that infrastructure because they are the owners of that and they benefit from it. And that is the way to work with the community. Residents of Kibera, like many others across the country, are extensively benefiting from the program through best practice utilization of this important amenity.
Beyond the economic gains, residents are experiencing more secure environs thanks to the street lighting aspect of the Jipopa program. Businesses can now open for longer hours, children play on the streets after dark and property owners have peace of mind. So we want to thank Kenya Power for bringing in this amount of light, which now I want to confirm that crime rate has gone down because of lighting. security kwa power kwa sababu tuko na light ile naitwa sijini hii naitwa lilimika lilimika muizi sasa hii sababu hii sasa na lilimika sasa security iko sawa kwa maana kulingana na mimi ni mtu ya kuuza mboga hata nikitoka hapa saa sita usiku naenda soko the security is also improving because uh, we are seeing, like every street, we have the lights. Now we can see that uh, people cannot hide anywhere because they have lightened up the place because people can afford. By utilizing this important resource in a responsible manner, residents will continue to greatly reap for generations to come. We want to bring power to the bottom of the pyramid, where majority of us are. That's the first, and we are, it's happening. If you look at what the chief of is doing and what all these connections are doing, we are getting there in a very, very short time. And particularly when we complete the last mile in another two years. Kenya Power, you ni Missouri Kabisa. Kenya Power, Asante sana for Meme. Asante sana Kenya Power, for a Maisha. Kenya Power, hoi! Asante sana Kenya Power, Kakutupa Stima. One of one of it, one of one of it, one of one of it. Thank you.